Good evening and welcome to Glasgow Middle School's Back to School Night for the 2021 to 2022 school year. I'm Mr. Walzer and I teach U.S. History 7. Just a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a 10 year, 10th year teacher, but this is my first year at Glasgow. I'm a career switcher. I moved from law enforcement to education. My wife is also a teacher and also a career switcher. Uh, we have a seven-year-old daughter in second grade this year, so we're very excited for, uh, for the year. In terms of learning history and my approach to learning history, I believe that students will always learn best when they are actively engaged, when they're involved in what they're learning, when they're prepared both physically and mentally to learn, when they're committed to the process, and when they're making meaningful connections between what they learn and their lives. They need to be here in order to do that. They need to be involved with the class and engaged, asking questions and participating. And you need to seek out the supports that are offered, for example, attending after school academic sessions. In terms of what we're gonna cover this year, we start where sixth grade left off at the end of the Civil War. We'll begin with exploring how the United States rebuilt, excuse me, after the Civil War with the age of reconstruction. We'll look into the expansion into the West towards the Pacific, the growing industrialization and waves of immigration affecting the US, the rise of the nation as a world power in World War I and World War II, the desperation of the Great Depression compared with the thriving time of the 1920s, the crisis of the Cold War between East and West, between NATO and the Soviet Union, the civil rights movement, how it was born and grew and developed and continues to this very day. And this trend towards globalization and an increasingly connected society across the world. We have summative assessments, formative assessments and other informal feedback that we'll put on the grade book. Uh, the only thing that will actually appear on the grade book is the summative assessments that measures the mastery of skill rather than the progress towards it. We're gonna teach a variety of skills, but the ones we're focusing on the most is the ability to make a claim and use evidence to support it, using multiple sources of evidence to corroborate that, uh, that evidence and placing things in proper order so that you can understand cause and effect in order to support whatever claim you're making. Since we are an IB International Baccalaureate School, we use the zero to eight IB grading scale, eight being full mastery, zero being just barely beginning. With these four criteria of knowing and understanding, investigating, communicating, and critical thinking. We don't have homework in seventh grade history, but we do offer retakes. If you don't score a full eight, you can retake. If you score a three or below, we're gonna encourage it. You have to do it within two weeks of the assessment being returned, and you have to participate in some kind of relearning. Retakes will always take place after school during the academic block. Teacher support is always gonna be available through Schoology, by referencing the syllabus, by contacting us directly. My email address is mjwalzer at fcps.edu, and my after school blocks are Wednesdays, 2.25 to 3.35 p.m. As always, continue to support your child, get involved in their education, ask them what they're learning, ask them what they're working on, ask to see their Schoology and show, their, show, show, them, show you their assignments and tell us how they're doing, how do they learn best. Make sure that students bring their computers every day. We're in a one-to-one -one ratio this year and they gotta bring their charger. We'll have multiple charging stations set up around the room, but they have to have the charger with them. We are extremely excited for this year. I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to see students' faces. Even though we can't see their, their smiles through the masks, we can see it in their eyes, and they are just as excited as we are. Thank you again for being so involved in your child's education, and I'll see you later throughout the year. Thank you.